optimistic about what we will do about climate Indeed, change. Yes. But I think there's so much we can do. And if I think the public was aware of the dangers that lie ahead, not just for their grandchildren, yes. but certainly yes. for their children and even themselves, because people are being impacted greatly by climate change all over the world. And uh, someone put it, you know, at first you're watching uh, videos filmed by other people, maybe watching cars floating down the center of the city or something like that. And then you're filming them yourself. Mm -hmm. you know? So it's becoming closer to home yeah. all the time. But uh, so there's so much we could do. And it, it, if the public was concerned, mm -hmm. then policymakers could actually implement things that would help a lot. I just had Bill McKibben on my program a, a couple of days ago. And solar uh, uh, energy from solar photovoltaics is growing unbelievably rapidly in China. It's something like three gigawatts um, a day, which is about a, a nuclear power plant's worth of energy being built every eight hours, okay, in China. In the United States, of course, we're going backwards. The Trump administration is trying to stop renewables because they're supporting the fossil fuel industry, which doesn't like to have free energy available to everyone. They want to charge people for the energy. And so, uh, you know, they're, they're against that. And uh, yet, if we had, a, if the public was concerned and therefore our elected leaders were concerned, there's so much we could do to rapidly switch away from fossil fuels. There's also things where I think we're going to have to do, which is to step in and start to remove some of the 2.6 trillion tons of CO2 that we have already admitted over since the Industrial Revolution. And because we've let things go so far, mm -hmm. and we're going to be at 2 degrees in 10, 15 years, which would be catastrophic on its own, uh, I think we are going to step in and do something that's called solar geoengineering or sometimes called sunlight reflection methods or solar radiation management, which is artificially cooling the earth while we reduce our use of fossil fuels and start removing the past emissions. And a lot of people are against that. They think it's a terrible idea. They think it would stop people from reducing emissions for some reason. Like, you know, I think if, if we were serious about climate change, we do everything. We don't just pick one absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Whatever the uh, way we find to fight it. Yes, absolutely. Or alternative. 